Hello everyone, on today's episode we're making this lovely image of some sheep grazing in a field. Stay tuned, I can't wait to get started. <coughs> Right, let's get started. I feel like making a painting today. Um, we're searching the internet for some free stock images and went to a website called Pixabay, which I will link in the descriptions below. And you can check them out. Uh, they have a lot of free images and there's some really cool images on there. I found this image of these cute little sheep in a field here looking on and I thought oh this would make a nice painting so I think we'll try to make a painting today guys so let's put on our painting uh, smocks and get started all right I've already duplicated my background layer I'm I'm going to come up here to filter down to Topaz Studio and click on impression that'll launch Topaz Studio and open up the Topaz impression plugin which as you know I love that plugin on the left here, you're going to see a bunch of different presets and different styles and things. Um, there's some chalk stuff, abstracts. Uh, back in the cave dwelling days, we have some stuff here. Uh, different artists like Cezanne, Monet. I'm looking for one by an artist named Edward Hopper. This is a uh, preset in honor of him. And let me find that here somewhere. I know it's down here somewhere. There it is, Edward Hopper 1 and Edward Hopper 2. Let's go with Edward Hopper 1 because I like the way the sheep look here better in this particular one. So let's just click it on. This is going to be a quick tutorial, guys. I could come in here and tweak a bunch of this stuff up. I'm not going to today because I think this really looks awesome just the way it is. I am going to come down here where it says texture and click that on. And then I'm going to come here and background type and click original. So I don't have any, if there was any um, like... Uh, say like un something underneath the canvas here that didn't look good, that would take care of that and it would just fill it in with paint. So I think that looks cool. In other words, some of the image from underneath showing through, I don't want, want to see that. I just want all painting on here, okay? So I'm gonna click original to do that and the texture strength, I'm gonna take this the whole way to the left. In other words, I'm gonna shut the texture off. If I drag this to the right, you can see see that texture in there. And that looks cool, and it makes it look like a canvas. And there's all kind of different textures that you can choose from here, and they're really cool. But for the technique that I'm using here, I like to shut the uh, texture strength the whole way off. And the reason being, because a lot of times what I like to do is pull back with masking inside of Photoshop, so I don't want the painterly as strong in certain areas. And so that texture is going to look funky. Some places it'll look lighter than others, so I don't want that. So that's a nice little tip. Remember that one, guys. I'm shutting the texture off. So now all I have to do is click OK, and that'll launch us right back into Photoshop. All right, so here's layer one with the painterly effect on it. There's the original, there's the painterly. I'm gonna throw a layer mask on here by clicking this little button right here and put a layer mask. And what I'm going to do now is uh, remove some of the uh, paint from areas I don't want. So I'm just gonna get a brush tool here and get a nice decent sized brush. I am at an opacity of 30%. And what I'm gonna do is just remove some of the painterly effect by using this black paint here. At 30%, I'm just going to remove some of this across here, mainly here. I like it back in here, guys. I think that looks really cool. But I might want to take it off some of these animals here in the front. Maybe in here just a little bit. Okay. And already I think that's looking pretty cool. Let's do a before and after here. Let's click this eyeball on. Okay, the before and after. And here's another little trick. If we shift, click the layer mask. We can see the effect that I made by painting on the layer mask. Okay. All right, so it brings a little bit more detail up in there. The next thing I want to do is pull this all together. And I'm going to use my Tony Kuiper panel because I love it. This little icon right here, I'm just going to click it. You could also do a Shift Option Command E to do that. And, but I can just click this button, so I think it's really cool. I'll also uh, leave a link in the description below where you can get this panel and the Tony Kuiper Actions, the Rapid Mask, which is really cool stuff, which you've seen me use before if you've watched some of my other videos. All right, so the next thing I want to do, guys, is 
I want to take this into a, another Topaz plugin. This is an older plugin called Topaz Adjust 5. So we're going to come into Adjust 5 here. And this uh, particular preset here called Clarity right here, I'm going to give that a click and you will see what it does right there. Okay. So see what it's doing here? Now, I'm not going to apply this everywhere, guys, but I'm just going to use a mask in Photoshop again and just apply it to certain areas. This is the way I love to use plugins. I never accept them, as I've said before, just the way they are. I'm going to click OK. This will bring us back into Photoshop, and let's click the eyeball on Layer 2 before and after. This time, I'm going to put a black mask on here to hide everything. And now what I'm going to do is just bring some textures back. I'm also going to put some back in here, I think. So now I have a black mask and I have black paint. I want to change that. I'm just going to type the X key to white paint. I'm still at 30%. And now I'm just going to start bringing some textures in. Maybe on the sheep here a little bit. On some of these grasses here. Maybe down in here. This area was blurred in the image, so I don't want to draw too much emphasis to this area. I want the, the uh, main attention to be brought to the sheep here. So let's just do that. Bring up some of this. Just paint away. Have some fun here. Sing a tune. It's a good day. It's a good day to be alive. It's snowing here in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Uh, and I had a... You know, I had to clear out the driveway today, and that was no fun. I'm just going to add some nice details back up in this area here. And I think I'm going to leave this field relatively smooth back in here. I might just paint at a lower opacity some extra detail in that field back there. I want some more detail in these rocks. I just like the way this looks back here. All right. So I'm going to change the opacity now to right around 10% somewhere in there and just paint a little bit of that detail back in here just a little bit not too much but just a little bit and I think that's looking pretty good so let's take a look at the before and after here so let's click this on and off looking looking pretty pretty good Okay, I'm almost done with this. Let's option click the background layer here so we can see the before and the after. What do you think? It's looking pretty good, nice and painterly. I'm loving it so far. I think what I'm gonna do is um, pull this all together again. That's that shift option command E thing and I believe people call that the claw, woo, the claw. Anyway, I click this little button on my Tony Kuiper panel, guys. I know you got to cheat sometimes. It makes your life a lot easier when you do that. So sometimes you got to do that. All right, so there we go. So now I'm going into another Topaz. This is a Topaz show, I think, today, guys. I love Topaz. This is an older plugin, and this one is called Topaz Restyle. I love this one because wait till you see it. It, it gives you really cool... Uh, different looks to your image okay and what i like to do is see this little icon right here give it a click because there's tons i mean maybe thousands of different looks for your image here and as you hover over these see the see this guy change down there sorry guys i don't want to make you sick looking at that but what i like to do is click this little icon right here and watch I'm under the nature category. And look, you get all these different uh, looks to your image, okay? You know, some we're gonna, will look kind of weird, you know? You might say, I love this one. I might say, eh, I'm not crazy about that one. Like this one, I don't like so much. This one's kind of interesting. This one's kind of cool, a muted look. Let's look through some of these. And there's a ton of these in here. This is not a tutorial on how to use this, guys, but I'm just showing you how I kind of get my looks. So I'm trying to find one that might suit me. And let's see if we can find one that we kind of like. Not sure yet. Oh, I think I'm seeing one. 
Maggie's Field. Boy, that sounds good. Remember the song by Dylan? Ain't gonna work on Maggie's farm no more. Well, I'm moving from Maggie's farm and going to Maggie's Field. All right, so there's Maggie's Field right there, guys. Now, I'm going to come up here. And this works with uh, one, two, three, four, five different um, color schemes, I guess you could call them, um, or tones. So I'm going to go with the saturation here. And I'm just going to adjust the saturation. If I move this to the right, I'll add more saturation to that particular primary color right there. Or I can take some saturation out of that color. So I'm just going to play with it till till my eye likes what it sees and I kind of like and like it right there and let's play with this other one here and no, I don't like that pull that one back up there a little bit let's play with this one right there I'm just tweaking these up getting both the way taking some of that pink out bring this one more into the browner tones I think the browner tones look nicer on the sheep yeah, there we go. That's looking better. Yeah. It was looking a little pinkish back in here. Is that a word? Pinkish? I don't know. But it's looking a little better to me. Then I can come to the luminance and let's tweak the luminances here. What if I darken that color? No. What if I lighten it? What if I leave it right where it is? If I double click primary, I'll get it right back to where it was. I'm just playing with these guys just to see if I like what's happening here. I might just brighten this one up just a little bit. This third tone here, that'll add a little bit of contrast. I'm just going to add a little bit. I don't want it to go too dark here, but maybe just a little bit. Maybe somewhere in there. Now let's go to the fourth. Let's see. I like that up a little bit. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. I like that. Now let's go to the fifth. Hmm, I like that. I like what it's doing to the sheep's wool. I was going to say the sheep's fur, but I think it's wool. I like that right there. Then we can come to the temperature here, and let's just move the temperature one way or the other. We can cool the temperature down, which is kind of cool. Kind of cool. Get it? I'll warm it up. What do I like? Got to whisper sometimes, guys. You got to whisper. I'm just going to, yeah, just slightly cool. Let's try the tint. Actually, you know, moving the tint to the right warms it up a little bit. It feels like a little bit. Maybe just there a little bit. Now, the saturation, what if we add more saturation or less? We could go with a more muted down look. Let's just cut the saturation back just a wee bit now the black level we can play with it we can give it some more black level give it or or give it more black so we can get a little more contrast in the image or we could lighten the image up overall I'm not sure I'm thinking maybe just slightly just slightly blacker just to give us a little more contrast now let's check the midtones out we can lighten the midtones we can darken them up a little bit I don't know I think I like it. I'm just gonna move them down just slightly, right about there. Weight level, let's see here. I'm just going for a certain mood to this image. Okay, right about there, guys. I like that right there. And then we could take structure and add more structure. I don't like that. Or we could take structure away, soften the image up a little bit. Now, we added structure in there before, but now I might just want to pull it back just a very slight bit here, just to soften up the whole feel of this beautiful little sheep image here. And the sharpness, I think, looks good right where it is. And I'm just going to click OK and accept that. And that'll bring us right back into Photoshop. And let's look at the before and after here. So layer three, let's click the eyeball. There's the before and there's the after. So you see... See how that can bring you into a new direction, guys? That's why I love to work with plugins and work inside of Photoshop. So that's really cool. Now let's take this opacity run at the whole way back and let's slowly build it up. So we may not want to add the whole amount to it, but just some of it. 
Okay, so let's look at this. Here's the before and the after. There, I like that. Sometimes it's the little subtle moves that you make. It's really going to make the image. I'm thinking I'm liking it really well. This little, there's a little, um, little thing here. See in the center of that circle there? Uh, I'm going to switch to a healing brush. So I'm just going to type J. I'm just going to make a blank layer above layer 4 and make sure that my healing brush is set to sample all layers and uh, make my brush a little bit smaller and just click on that set guy right there. See, he's gone. He is totally gone. Anything else I don't like, like this little thing right here, I don't think I like it. You can go away. Uh, this little piece of grass I don't like. I don't, I don't like this little piece of grass. But there it is, guys. Maggie's Field. I'm going to call this Maggie's Field. I'm not going to work on Maggie's Farm no more, but I'm going to hang out in Maggie's Field and play with the sheep. Well, there you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed this one today. If you liked it, please give it a like. And also, if you're not yet subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and click that bell notification icon. I'd really appreciate it. That really helps me out, guys. And uh, please leave comments below um, anything that you would like me to do in the future. If you have one of your images you want to send me, I'd be happy to look at it and possibly maybe do an edit right on the show here. And that would be fun. I would really enjoy doing something like that. So please... I'll leave a, also an email where you can email me if you want to do that as well. But if you have any comments or questions or anything, please leave those below too, guys. Well, thanks again for uh, joining me today, and I will see you right here next time on The Joy of Editing with Dave Kelly. See you later, guys.